it going guys welcome back to Andrew's Old School Garage and this is part two of the 1978 Yamaha GTA revival so in this video we are working on the carbonator carburetor um, as you can see I got it apart already now it did not look like this by the way I cleaned it up already somewhat um and here is this jet that I cleaned you can see straight through all the holes. Here is this one. And then here is this one. And then here's our float. And our gasket. And down here, we have our needle. What is that thing? It's a moth. Cool. Anyways, got our uh, float pin, our needle, and our float bowl, obviously. Got our tools. So, yeah, uh, that's what today's video is is about and currently it is almost nine o'clock at night but you know that's cool i've stayed up uh, till 10 o'clock working on the road runner so that's all right um but i'll see what i can get done tonight before i get too tired um and then tomorrow guys i will pick it up but right now i do not have my tripod so i cannot video any of this that uh me cleaning it so you guys are just gonna ha uh, have to just Use your imagination to think what, uh, oh, what's that called? Im not, maybe it's imagery. I can't remember from school. Just use your imagery. Um, is it imagery? Okay, whatever. I might be wrong. Correct me in the comments if it's imagery or not. Um, about, just, just watch the video, guys. It's a quick video. These are going to be quick videos because it's not like it's a car, like, Say, for example, on Vice Grip Garage or Junkyard Gigs, it's a dirt bike revival. It's going to be quick. Got my friend Landon Bessing coming over on um, Friday. Uh, his channel is Outdoor Wonders if you want to go check him out. Uh, I don't think he's posted in a long, long time, but he's got some videos on there. But, yeah, guys. So, I will see you guys when I get more of this cleaned up. I'm going to work on this. So I'll be right back when I get all this in here cleaned up. And we're probably going to soak this carburetor in simple green. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so uh, last night I had the carburetor for the GT80 soaking in simple green. Ah, uh, because carburetor was really nasty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean the carburetor up. I got a toothbrush. So I'm going to put it on a time lapse so that way the video is not overly long and uh, you guys can watch me during a time lapse of me cleaning the carburetor with a toothbrush and simple green. So. simple green there's all of our jets and our needle uh, here's our full bowl which looks a heck of a lot better and cleaner Oops. there's inside that and then here's our carburetor which looks way better it's a lot cleaner and nicer 
So now we just have to blow every all the ports out with air. And then we'll do that. But now we have to go clean the float. So let's go grab the float. I believe I kept the float out here, guys. Um, let's go over to our work area where I was working. Uh, no, I did not leave it out here. All right, good to know. All right, now we gotta go downstairs to my workroom. The GT80 sitting out here. Okay. By the way, guys, I know it's been a long time since I posted a soccer video, but this right here is our 16 foot soccer track table. And we are going to have a 16 foot soccer track coming down here. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you like soccer. Okay. There's our uh, MX650 that needs new batteries. Okay, now if we go over here. Aha, Popo. I believe that is it. So, I guess I will bring these these three jets up anyways. Because I'll probably just clean them with uh, Civil Green also. I don't know why I didn't do that last night, but now we will. Alright, let's head back upstairs. Make sure everything's dry and then we can re start reassembling. jets oops there you go got all the jets and needles right there actually the needles are right here those don't need to be blown out because those don't have any holes in them got our needle itself okay so now we will start assembling the carbonator carbonator <laughs> All right, so there's everything, and then the floats right here. So I will see you guys when I have all my tools clean, so that way I can put this thing together nice and clean with no dirt. So I got this mat here that my dad got a long time ago. It's got an AR-15 on it. But anyways, it's got this nice tray at the end. It's got a magnetic tray that's holding all the steel parts. Got these, uh, the, these aren't the jets. These are, I'm gonna call these the ports. And then we got the needles right here. 
Got the float down there and the float fits nicely in there. And this works for holding all the carburetor parts and then you can get your carburetor. And it's a nice big mat too. So it works really well. So now we're gonna set you guys up right here like this and I'm going to go find the carburetor diagram and we're going to put this together. All right guys, so I have my tablet here just for when I have to look certain things up. Right here I have my Yamaha TY80 um, parts list and I believe it has the parts diagram in here. I also grab my Dremel because I believe if there's a little bit of stuff I still have to clean down in this little port down there. So once I clean that we should be uh, smooth sailing. And I probably will run a pipe cleaner through this thing right here because that looks a little weird. Just a little dirty. Okay. So let's find parts. Yeah, see there's my TY80. Alright, let's see here. Carburetor, page 23. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to need a weight. So I'll use my Dremel. Alright. So. <coughs> okay. Get, Got to get the tools, grab some pipe cleaners, and then we'll do this in the time lapse. guys so I got the choke mechanism all cleaned out I did that um, off camera also but I found the uh, screw settings so that's our air pilot air jet and then this is our uh, throttle stop because that's why it sticks out down in there so that you have to adjust when the bike is running so you only adjust this one right here and you got to make that one one and a half turns one and a half trench, so. I'll just screw So. 
get this. So we'll do this. So we got, okay, there's half. Oops. There's one. And there's half. So that's, that's adjusted now. So that is done. Now all I have to do is I just have to clean out. I got to clean and it's on the bike um, is the throttle thing that's right here. So now we'll leave this right here and I will go, now we gotta go clean uh, the bike thing now. So outside we go. Don't, who don't know, I had to make this wiring harness right here. It's uh, wrapped in electrical tape. But it works, and I got that to work up there, so that's how you definitely know it works. So, I would unwrap the tape, but not doing that right now. So, what we need to clean now oops, is this. Just, oh, well, actually, I'll hit it with the wire wheel, and it should be good. So, I will move to that now. All nice and clean now. I even did get, did get the needle, which that is very sharp. Come on, focus. There. Yep, I did clean the needle up, so that is good. And I believe we are good to go now to put this back in the carbonator. Whoa. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put the carburetor on off camera because uh, it'll just be a lot easier. Um, so that's what I am going to do. So I will see you guys when the carburetor's on. It's been like, I don't know how long uh, because I was doing some research on yamahaenduros.com. Um, and real quick, sorry about the wind guys. The wind picked up, so it's gonna be a little windy. But this should, I believe this is the end of the video. It should be. Uh, so stay tuned for part three guys. Um, but here we have it. So we got our carburetor tightened up and hooked back up. That is at its uh, one and a half turns. This, um, you guys will, uh, I'll tell you guys the adjustments when we have this thing running. Um, got the breather lines hooked up. And, and there's the fuel tank over there. But that's all of that right now guys so if you guys want to know where these go this just dangles and so does that one um so now what i'm going to do and i'm going to do it off camera is i'm going to make sure the oil pump is working so that way i know if i'm going to have to block um certain oil injection ports uh it, because if it doesn't work i'm not going to fix it i'm going to just block every all the oil injection stuff and then i'm just gonna mix the gas um but that's what i'm gonna go do now guys so thanks for watching make sure you hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more dirt bike uh the rest of this dirt bike revival series and hit the notification bell uh if you're new here i post tractor videos of uh, vintage lawn and garden tractors i have rc videos slot car videos uh, mini bike videos and dirt bike videos, which dirt biking is just starting. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're new here and the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!